Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I just want to make a card and I'm going to be using some Joy Claire stamps to do so. Now I'm using the Blessed Harvest stamp set from Joy Claire. This is from the Bible Journaling Color by Faith series, which is great for Bible journaling, but I'm actually going to use it to make a card today. This is the perfect card right now for this time in Iowa. It is just about time for the farmers to start and so it's allergy time, but I still love this time of year. I went ahead and stamped some of these stamps out and I did fussy cut them out. I do want to mention though that it is great to remember whenever you buy Joy Claire stamps, you automatically, there is nothing else you have to do, just buy the stamps and automatically you are given this free SVG download with the stamps that you bought. So if you have an electronic die cutting machine, you don't have to cut these by hand. You can just use your electronic cutting machine. You get those SVG cut files for free. You have no extra steps to take. It's that simple. I don't have an electronic die cutting machine though, and I actually do like fussy cutting, believe it or not. So I went ahead and stamped these out with some VersaFine Clear Nocturne ink, and I'm gonna color them in with my colored pencils. And I'm also gonna go ahead and blend these out with my OMS, excuse me, while I set up my little tablet there. I like to watch. Netflix while I do my crafting, but I'm going to go ahead and very quickly color these in. So for my tractor, I went with a red tractor. I just have a thing about red tractors. I know a lot of them now are greens and blues, but I still love red. So I went ahead and went with that. I went with some black on the wheels, grays on that. So I want to take those colors and carry them all the way across this card and into some of my other images. So for the little windmill, I'm going to go for those grays that I used beforehand, very quickly color that in and blend those out. Then for the little bitty corn stalks and sunflowers, I'm going to be using some different uh, yellows and greens and uh, browns for those. So for my little stems on my sunflowers, I'm using a very darker green and I'll go ahead and very quickly color these in. This takes no time at all on these little bitty images. Then I used a brown colored in that on the sunflowers and then a little bit of yellow. I'm using two different ones here, darker towards the center and lighter towards the outer petals of those sunflowers. Sunflowers are my favorite flower. That's another reason I love this time of year. They are blooming right now and they are gorgeous. You could color those up different colors, kind of like that autumn mix that you can get with the oranges and the deep uh, maroons and reds and that kind of thing, that would be gorgeous as well, but I just stuck with yellow on mine. Then on the corn stalks, I actually went with a little bit of green and then yellow where the corn is sticking out. I know at this time of year, it is kind of dried up and it's got that brown crusty look to it, but I went with green to make it a little bit more pretty just because it's on a card. So I went ahead and colored those in very quickly and I added a little bit of lighter green where some of the highlights would be. I'm not very good at guessing where those are, so I just do my best and it normally turns out okay. So I went ahead and very quickly put in those highlights, put in a little bit of yellow, and then very, very, very quickly, I use my tiny blending stumps to quickly blend all those out. That takes, again, no time at all. And I'm just using one blending stump for all the different greens. And then for the yellows, I use the same blending stump all the way across so I don't have to do any excessive sanding to get all that color off the stumps. So there you can see I took that same blending stump, took it over to the greens using my browns and then very quickly my yellow blending stump as well and uh, quickly blending those out. Now once I had all my coloring done, it was time to start with the background of this card. So I have a card base here that is side folding in A2 in size. I made this with white cardstock. I also did a little die cutting off the screen. I used just some hill dies. If you don't have hill dies, you could cut those very easily with scissors. And I cut a white picket fence. I cut the hill dies from brown. That one is a little bit shorter. And then green, I did a little bit taller. I also die cut some clouds. I won't be using those. But I did die cut from regular computer paper this cloud border. It's basically just like a funky scallop. So if you have a scallop, that would work as well for this. Now to make these clouds on the background, I'm gonna take that computer paper cloud that I made here. I'm gonna place it down and then with my salty ocean distressing, 
I'm going to kind of blend up away from that. So starting on the clouds and then I just blend right over the top of that and up onto the cardstock. This is going to create a nice little fluffy cloud look on the background of your cardstock. You can go as light or dark as you want. I'm going a little kind of a medium, I guess you could say. And then some of the clouds that are a little bit lower, a little bit deeper, I went a little bit more heavy handed. Now, once I had my first layer done, I just take that same uh, cloud border, move it up the cardstock, and then just do that same exact technique over again. You can see I did tape off the back of my cardstock. That's just to protect, or the back of my card base, that's to protect the back of my card. So if my ink blending tool does happen to go a little nutso on me, then I have the back completely covered. It's not gonna get any ink on it and get messy. So you don't have to start over just by protecting your surface to begin with. I also have my um, computer paper underneath to catch all the extra ink. I'm also gonna do some ink blending on that to add a little bit of depth to my hills. So for my grassy hill, I'm gonna go in with some mowed lawn, or I think this is peeled paint actually, and I just added a little bit of color to the top of that, blending from the paper onto those hills. Then for the brown hill, I went in with some vintage photo and very quickly deepened that up. You can see just uh, that little bit of color gives it so much more depth and doesn't look just like a plain piece of cardstock on your paper then. Now with that hill border, I wanted to attach my picket fence. So on the very bottom of the picket fence, I put little dots of glue. That allowed me to attach, or to the front of the picket fence, I guess I should say, and that allowed me to attach it to my hill, my um, mud hill or dirt hill, I guess you could say. And then I went ahead and placed down my grassy hill in the background with just some liquid adhesive. Then with some fun foam and double-sided adhesive, I'm gonna pop up these sunflowers and I also popped up the windmill. Now the great thing about using the fun foam and double-sided adhesive, it is very strong, but you do have a little bit of play time with it. So here I put these sunflowers down and it ended up that I didn't like where they were once I put the front pieces down. So I was able to move a few of them just by peeling them up very carefully. I put some fun foam and double-sided adhesive on the bottom of the card base and attached that hill on the front, the brown hill, and then it was time to attach the tractor. On the bottom of this tractor, I put regular double-sided adhesive, and on the top, I actually popped it up a little bit just for added dimension. This is also going to help it be on the same like level as the dirt hill that it's on so that way it doesn't look like it's really really weird on there or it doesn't kind of push that fence towards the background then for all of my little corns i went ahead and placed three on the background with just plain double-sided adhesive then two i put in front right in the center of each one of those and i pop those up with double-sided adhesive and fun foam for that added dimension there you can see on the card just how those shadows and all the dimension you get with those different levels. So this card was a little bit busy as it was, so I decided to just stamp my little verse there in the background. This is from that same or from that same stamp set. It says, "Let your roots grow down into him." And I stamped that with the Versifying Claire Nocturne ink right in the background up against that windmill. Then it was time to finish off the inside of the card. Now again, I'm going to use that stamp set that I used on the outside. The little, uh, are those hay? I'm going to call them hay, maybe straw. But it's a little bundle, and I stamp that next to the It's Going to Be Okay from the You Got This stamp set from Joy Claire. And I colored those in very quickly with a little bit of a golden, yellowy colored pencil. That finished off the inside of the card, and this card was completely done. I love the way this one turned out. I love stamping those verses on the outside. I don't know. I just really like the way this one came together. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. On the left side of your screen, there are going to be a few different links you can click on, more videos you can watch over there. And also, if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, you can do that over there on the left. And if you like this video, you can give me a thumbs up down below. If you have any questions about supplies, they're always listed in the description box. Thanks for watching and happy crafting.